Topic under discussion today is diclofenac. In this topic, uh, in this lecture, we'll discuss with you guys the medicinal of the diclofenac. Uh, what will we discuss with you guys? First of all, let us know the points that are going to help us understand this lecture in a very easy, peasy way. Well, we'll talk about the general name of diclofenic, uh, brand name, uh, chemical structure, IUPAC, mechanism of action and synthesis and potency. So these will be the points that will be helping us to understand this lecture in a super duper but easy way. Well, yeah, we create lectures in a very easy way. So let's get started this easy peasy understanding. What is the general name of diclofenic that you guys must remember? Diclofenic sodium, diclofenic potassium. Very, very must, very important. You must remember this, okay? Then regarding the brand names, if we talk about, we have several brands. Uh, if you remember, it's okay. If not, forget about. Anyways, the brands that we uh, have in our vicinity are the Ketaflam, mm, Voltrain, Voltrain, and ETC. So these are actually the brands available. Forget about the brands. If you don't remember, it's okay. But for the exams and for Viva, you may uh, be asked. Uh, so you may remember these, okay? For exams. Otherwise, I don't want to write it down. I believe in generic. Okay. When we have the chemical structure, the very important point, the very important portion that our students feel confused when they are just going through the structures of the drug like diclofenic they don't understand structure they feel confused so let me make this portion easy for you guys in a very simple and easy way how like just concentrate i'm going to give you guys the idea through this idea you will get the structure in a very easy way how like very simple just look at the name diclofenic remember before writing the structure remember one very important point regarding answers it is believed that we have one benzene ring okay Remember this benzene ring now, for the rest of the structure, just remember and go through this diclofenic name. In diclofenic name, what we see is DI, take this DI, then CL, then fin, and then AC. Now, what is this actually? Very simple. DI is actually telling us the number, that is 2. Clo is chlorine. Fin is actually uh, considered this like phenyl. And AC is phenyl as he is acetic acid and we know the formula of acetic acid is ch3 c double bond oh got now just got you got these all uh, numbers and things from this name diclofenic now just take these and make a structure of this this is actually idea that i'm giving you guys to write the structure in a perfect way this is the way i actually learn okay that's that, that i'm telling to you guys very simple now just take all these things Take a phenyl ring, we got phenyl ring, then we have two chlorine. So remember, regarding two chlorine, the both two chlorines should be uh, on the same sides, means they should be uh, opposite to each other, one can say, or facing each other. Anyways, at one position will be there, that is actually ortho position, this ortho position. Right one here, another here. Now what remains is, diazone, chlorozone, phenylazone, acetic acid is remaining and uh, here we have phenyl also so this was phenyl with us so we have not drawn phenyl this is phenyl now regarding acetic acid you must remember that this last group should be on the benzene ring now just acetic acid right here that is uh, ch2 c double bond o oh here it is ch3 and i just wrote it here ch2 like why because carbon is having one bond with a benzene ring second bond with another carbon and two bonds with the hydrogen like this the carbon gets its valency satisfied so we have this one ring another ring now what is remaining remaining is joining of these rings together if we join these rings together then we will have diclofenic so what is that joining thing joining moiety that is very simple in the answers when we are talking about two rings so these two rings are oftentimes joined by the nitrogen or a, you can say a minor group a minor group in a minor we have nh2 okay this is nh2 and one bond here what you will do now just take the same nh2 and just uh, bond it like this here so remember regarding bonding of this ring you must not stretch it like this because then the bond will become different and this will be another structure so what you should do is stretch a bond from here and a bond from here right just from the top of the this ring uh, from the one position and in between these you must draw right here nitrogen and a hydrogen the remaining two nitrogens uh, the remaining one nitrogen is actually lost 
during the synthesis of diclofenac okay now just get this idea for drawing the diclofenac so what you got now and h1 just now what you're supposed to do is concentrate the valency of nitrogen here one two and three satisfied done so what we got now we got uh, two chlorine uh, here by and uh, two chloride along with that we got the benzene ring and we got the phenyl ring this is the phenyl ring having amino then here is the benzene ring then here is actually the acetic acid so what i told you guys regarding diclofenac how to remember just write one benzene ring because it is unset keep this in mind then come towards the name from the name jot down the next structure means write down the next structure that is uh, having dichlorophenyl acetic acid dichloro and phenyl take the phenyl structure then along with that uh, acetic acid is remaining i told you to write the acetic acid here at the top of the benzene ring at first position so like this you will get the name of diclofenac in a very easy way got so this is now your entire structure being drawn that is diclofenac structure now let's come towards the iopaic in the iopaic again focus on the benzene ring from the benzene ring move there move another side so here we have one group attached on the one position and on second position we have another entire substituent this is in complete substituent this one then we have three then we have four five sixth position now on the second position we have a substitution of uh, that is actually another substitution what will you do now regarding iupac first of all write the number on which the substituent is present of the main benzene ring now this is the main benzene ring on this uh, position that is second position we have a substituent so first of all write this position on which the substituent is present then move towards this ring now in this ring further we have numbers like one two three four five six now on the second and on sixth position again on this particular substituent we have substitutions like two chlorides are present available here so you will write the substituents uh, numbers like two and six so first of all we will write the substitutions first of all what will we do regarding iopaic we will write the substitutions so here we have substituent we wrote the name that is two then we have further more substitutions like two and six we have we have also written that like this here then we have dichlorophenyl this is what this is actually telling us about these two substitutions these two are actually the uh, chloro groups dichloro two means di chloro means chloro okay so they are actually uh, having attachment on the phenyl this is phenyl now this is done up to this now come toward this side back side naming from uh, this side from the benzene ring towards the another substitution and then again we are coming towards the completion then you will come back towards this side so here we get uh, the dichlorophenyl and the lino then after that we will come toward this one that is acetic acid so here we have dichlorophenyl and lino then here is acetic acid available here now this anilino now this anilino can be written like this how like very simple 2 and 6 this is actually take the oara excuse me for this i got something here uh well coming to the point again that is 226 dichlorophenyl anilino acetic acid vsa vsa got <laughs> i'm sorry for this portion coming towards the iupac iupac is very easy here we got two that is substitution and uh, first of all what will you do regarding iupac naming first of all you will note the substitution number so here we have substitution number on the second position of the first ring then we have another substitution on the second and sixth position of the second ring we got now then you will tell what are the substitutions on the second ring that are actually two chloro groups two chloro and phenyl this is two chloro phenyl then you will come back towards this side here you have then what nh2 nh which is actually amine when this amine is attached with the benzene ring what we call that this is actually aniline you can say anilino we got this entire structure then we say this is actually anilino you can also write it like that phenyl amine after anilino you can erase this anilino you can write it like this also phenyl amine ya yeah, amino or amino amino aryl acetic acid or simple acetic acid okay in short so one is this name another one is very simple that is anilino 
226 dichloro phenyl analino acetic acid this is the iupac name i hope you got the understandings and sorry for the short disturbance that was created by someone well coming towards the uh, mechanism of action we have discussed mechanism of action in detail just for the sake of understanding and just uh, re-emphasizing here in short that you guys may get the understanding once again if still you have confusion here we have the video on this particular mechanism a separate video is available just to watch that how to watch that video simple type aspirin by dr uut you will get that video and that video is actually for the mechanism of action well, now what is the mechanism of action of diclofenac? Simple. Cell membrane, when it is uh, directed towards the phospholipase A2 enzyme, when this enzyme comes or approaches the cell membrane, this cell membrane is then going to synthesize arachidonic acid because of phospholipase A2. Phospholipase A2 will synthesize arachidonic acid. Now, this arachidonic or arachidonic acid will um, be a kind of substrate for the Cox and Lox enzymes. Two enzymes, Cox1 and Cox2. Cox will, at, uh, will approach the arachidonic acid. After they approach, they will uh, go for the uh, signals like pain, fever, inflammation, and some other motifs are also synthesized. So in short, LOX and Cox enzymes will interact with arachidonic acid. And here, Cox1 and Cox2, they will interact with arachidonic acid. So our main focus regarding diclofenac is Cox1 and Cox2. These COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes will interact with the what? They will interact with the arachidonic acid and they will then further be responsible for the pain, inflammation and etc. etc. fever. So what we do now, we take diclofenac. This diclofenac will come and it will inhibit the COX enzyme. Now these COX enzymes, when they are inhibited, then the remaining story will be flopped. There is no pain, no fever, no inflammation. So we will get relief from the pain, fever and inflammation. Now let's come towards the next point that is the potency. Regarding potency point of view, it is believed that diclofenac is more potent than most of the ANSATS is compared to uh, like uh, aspirin it is more potent than aspirin if you guys remember the structure of the aspirin there we had what we had only simple one ring and uh, some acetic acid etc group benzoic acid were there so that was actually the structure but according to diclofenac we have two rings and a bit, a bit, uh, a bit larger structure here we have two chlorides available it is believed according to diclofenac that these two chlorides are actually responsible for the potential strength of the diclofenac that's why because of these chlorides the diclofenac is more potent than many answers and uh, if we say more potent than aspirin it's also okay and do we do have we do have some other answers having enough more strength than diclofenac also so according to till now it's okay for synthesis uh, i hope you guys will bear with me uh, now i don't want to extend the timing of the v lecture i do have alarm over there and along with that i do have something to take uh, like tea and rice and sorry for that. Diclofenic synthesis will be discussed in another video. Till then, stay blessed and stay happy. That's it all from my side.